Good evening. Happy New Year. We have a quorum. It's uh, past 630. We'll call the meeting to order. First up for general information, Mr. Dwyer, I believe is Mohammed. Uh, Mohammed's iPhone, yes. You are Hello, there. everyone. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm calling from Ravinia Health. Our company uh, opens up COVID testing locations all, all around the U.S. We're actually partnered with a CDC-approved and licensed laboratory, which is registered with the CLIA. So we wanted to open up a location in Hadley, and we, ha we have an address as well. Uh, the address is 216 A. Russell Street. My job is to make sure that we're in compliance with all the permits. So uh, Mr. Dwyer uh, invited me to this meeting and he said, you know, I can uh, get all the information I need from here. I will uh, go back uh, to mute and listen to you guys. Uh, the location once again, uh, Russell Street, what number? 216A Russell Street. 216A. And um, Where so since you explained this to me, but I have not shared with the uh, rest of the board. So uh, perhaps just to explain what you're, what you're proposing to do so that we can decide what steps to take next. Uh, it's just, it's going to be testing. We're going to uh, allow uh, patients to come in. We're going to have two employees at the max uh, inside. They're going to, it's their self-administered uh, COVID testing kits. They will do it. They will uh, uh, administer themselves. We will collect the samples. And then um, uh, at the end of the day, we will uh, FedEx the samples to our laboratory and um, basically, and, and we have a portal access for the, for the patients. Uh, and they, will be, they will be given rapid within half an hour when they walk out, email to them. And then the PCR, our turnaround time is 24, 48 to 72 hours. Where's 316, Russell? Next to Hadley Auto Express, just east. It's actually 216 A Russell Street, 216. That's that little building almost on Russell Street? Yeah, there are two, uh, two small buildings that uh, they're owned by the uh, same person that owns Auto Express, and he converted them to offices some, some time back. I think one was a house. Maybe they were both houses. Okay. I guess I don't see a problem with what he wants to do. So, no, that's that's bordering on the aquifer. So obviously, obviously, if they're just collecting, they're not going to have any hazardous material there. So, right, right. Any other comments, questions? Uh, Two employees, three, so three people will be there. The, the parking was a little slight in that building, is so I, but three employees is not going to tax the How many park. hours a day? How many hours a day will be open? It's going to be 10 to 7, or actually 9 to 5. It's for probably 8, maximum 9 hours a day. Not, uh, not open weekends. What, what is the name of the business? Uh, our company is called Ravinia Health. Would you say that again, please? Uh, Ravinia Health. R-A-V-I-N-I-A. -I -I Ravinia Health. Divinia? No, uh, Ravinia. R as in Robert, A as in Apple, V as in Video, I as in India, N as in Nancy. I is in India, A is in Apple, Ravinia Health. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Any other comments, questions? Are yes, gonna, Tom. Yeah, I just a concern on the parking. How many, like how many people are there? Is there gonna be with the traffic, the parking that's on that site? Um, I mean, at, at maximum, it's probably gonna be like, three, four cars at a time, but 
we will only take in one patient at a time. So when one is done, he will be sent and another will be brought in. Do people have to make reservations? Excuse me, can you repeat that? Do people have to make reservations to come? No, no appointment is required, no. Is this for COVID type testing? Yes, it is. It's for uh, specifically COVID-19 testing. If okay. they don't schedule I, I, them, I know when it's COVID testing, if, that the parking is a concern because right now at Med Express, sometimes there's their parking lot is full, waiting for people to get in line, and they have quite a bit of parking. You're going to be if it's just walk in, come for come first, come in first, come first serve. The only you know. You're going to be overwhelmed right now. I would say I would say no more than four an hour. We would line up on Route Nine. Is I just worried about the police department and Route Nine and the traffic. That would be the. Yeah. It seems everywhere there's a long line for these. Okay. Good point. Yeah, I mean. You're you're gonna have a, you're gonna have a, I don't know. Well, I saw the nightmare. Your property, do you have a map of what your property looks like? Uh, yes. Uh, I I can get the site map and all that uh, for you. Yeah, the, the Hadley Senior Center is no longer taking a walk in. You have to make an appointment. Uh, I don't think that would be an unreasonable request. All right, well said. Another option, given uh, we'll call it the special circumstances uh, of COVID, is that the I believe the owner of Happy Auto Express also owns this parcel. And if there were some way to stack cars or stack the waiting line in the Auto Express parking lot, which now I don't know if they're, how easy the interaction between the lots are, but uh, there, there is a potential for a solution there. But we need um, more details. Yeah. Okay, we can explore that option. Uh, we can speak to that owner. Um, as far as um, the permits go, uh, Mr. Dwyer had mentioned that all we needed was a change of use permit, and even that can be waived. So I was uh, trying to inquire about that. Well, it's true. It can be waived. We have the jurisdiction to waive it. Um, obviously, uh, other board members have raised concerns that um, that may need uh, further addressing. I, I believe, as, as a functional matter, you, the zoning is correct for what you are doing there, but the um, this is why change of use is one of the triggers for site plan approval that. If you go from something like a <clears throat> psychotherapist who's seen one patient every 45 minutes to someone who is running a business such as yours with extremely high demand, um, that that's a reason not to waive site plan approval. So I think um, we need a little more detail <clears throat> about what kind of uh, traffic, uh, what kind of traffic impact you're uh, expecting here. Yeah, because I could imagine on a, you know, on a normal day, you could handle pe people, but when there's like a crunch on Friday before a holiday or something and everybody wants to get a test before they travel, you could have traffic backed up out on the state highway. Yeah, the, the concern is, you're, you're going to be in, in, in a business right now that is very high demand and um, at the rate that Massachusetts is experiencing cases at the rate of 
30,000 a day or so. It, it, I don't know how many are in the area already. I don't know the details, but the concern is that you're going to be, your site was going to be overwhelmed with, with vehicles. At times, probably uh, not all the time, but at certain well, times. Yeah. That, that's right. No, not all the time, but, but it, it, it could be. It, cert, it could be. And I mean, your business is, the business itself is not a problem. It's the traffic that you may, you may experience and where will it go? Yeah, I think our concerns would be how you would mitigate the uh, extreme runs on popularity, you know, at certain peak times. And one option I heard was working a deal for overload into the adjoining site. And another option I heard was to schedule appointments. But that's not for us to tell you how to run your business. Okay, as far as the option about uh, speaking to the, the auto shop owner, um, I think we can probably come to some sort of agreement with him. So we will talk to him. And then as soon as I have information, I will contact you again, Mr. Dwyer, and we can revisit this. Is that okay? Yes. Uh, yes. Bear in mind, I can't give you a waiver of anything, uh, but um, you know, I, we can, I can share anything you learn with the rest of the board. I understand. So I'm also going to send you a... Uh, uh, an info sheet that we're going to ask you to sign and return um, uh, just describing what uh, what site plan approval is and isn't. So um, is there a sidewalk there? Yes. Yes. Yeah. The sidewalk goes all the way up to the um, Bruce Hill, past Bruce Hill. Past Bruce Hill, all the way up to the medical offices. Yeah, it goes just if it goes almost almost into check the old check coolies uh, have the auto sales. Yeah, I think it stops just, just right around there. Okay, then uh, Mr. Dwyer, I'll take your leave, and as soon as I have information about this. I will email you or contact you by phone. And uh, also I will be awaiting your email you just spoke about right now. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Let me just take care of that. And um... Um, okay, uh, next uh, I had on the list was Dan Wilga. Hi, Bill. This is Jerome from Empower Energy. Um, I believe Dan Wilga is on the, on the call as well. Um, this is uh, in regards to an admin review for a ground in ground installation for solar panels at his residence at 11 Birch Meadow Drive. Thank you. I'll just let Jerome handle things. Okay. So you're filing an application for? The ground mount installation. Review? Yes, admin review. Okay, uh, you haven't sent us any materials on that. Okay, so where, should, where is the best way to send these materials? I have any documents that you would need. Um, is it an email address or can I send it through this um, chat channel? The, uh, you can submit it to planning at hadleyma.org. Give me one second. Planning at Hadley. Ma. Org, ma .org. Yes. Okay.
Let me send you what I have right now. Uh, how many paper copies do you think we'll need? Um, I believe on the zoning bylaws, you had particular people to send it. Yes. Um, send it to. Okay. So, um, I mean, I can send you the document via email. Um, how this gets distributed, I'm not sure how you guys will go about that. I do apologize. This is the first planning board for a ground install. Normally, some towns don't require this this um, part of the process. Probably two paper copies and we can distribute the electronic copies for review bill, I think. Does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds fine. Well, we so paper, to. okay, so paper copies, you'd like us to mail that in um, and I'll go ahead and email the documents. That would be great, yes. Okay. And we, by the zone bylaw, we have thirty. We have to. We have to wait thirty-five days. So we will schedule you for a informal review on February fifteenth. February fifteenth. Okay. Now, um, will I be expecting some sort of? feedback if there's additional documents needed after I send what um, the documents if, I do send? If we, oh, I will, I'm the chair of the board. I will distribute the copies to the appropriate other boards. And if we get any, let's say serious feedback or concerns, we will let you know how, what you have to address. Most of the time we have done, I wanna say half a dozen of these and we have not had any issues. Okay. So if you hear Just, nothing, that's a good. If you hear nothing, that's good. That's good. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll I'm sending the email, and then I'll e um the address for the physical copies. Oh, is that on your website? Hadley Town Hall, one hundred Middle Street, Hadley, Mass. Middle Street. You can either email them in, or you can just put them. You can just go into the town hall, and drop them in our our mail slot if you want, whichever is easier for you. Gotcha. Okay. I mean, if, if you can give Dan a copy, he can just bring him to the town hall, put him in a mail slot. All right. Okay. Um, Dan, is that something you want, you would like to do, or would you like us to take care of the physical copies as well? No, certainly. If you send me the electronic one, I can print it out and, uh, and stick uh, copies in the box. Gotcha. Okay. I'll send. I'll CC you on the email that I'm sending to the planning board, um, and then those are the same copies that will be um, physically sent. That sounds good. Awesome. What is, is there the any? Address? Just for uh, the record, what, what is the address again? Address is eleven Birch Meadow Drive. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Is there anything else um, that we'd, we you need us to do um, for the admin review? We'll, we'll, we'll take a look at the drawings, and if we need anything else, we'll let you know. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. All okay. right. Thank you. You're up next time. You got anything, Mr. Tommy? Just here to say hi. <laughs> See what's new. <laughs> How's happy everybody new, doing? Happy, happy New, new year. year. Happy Happy New Year. Thank you. I got about forty pounds of coffee coming back with. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> I'll get you some, Tom. <laughs> right. uh, you got an interesting background behind you, Mike. It's going to be a different one. Miss that. Oh, Jim, you didn't know he was on a plane. 
Oh, I did. I certainly did. He called me. He called me before we got on the plane. Oh, he wasn't okay. sure he could get on it. He said, Casey, I'm not on. You'll know why. So that's that's dedication. You, you mean, right now, you so, say uh, the, uh, the, the restrooms are not in the seat behind him, that he's probably flying in first class. <laughs> <laughs> Good for him. That's right. Um, what else do we have, Mr. Dwyer? It's basically, uh, I think we did want to do, uh, have a discussion about, uh, about getting some support. Oh, that's and, nice, yes. And how we would go about doing that since we're not in there. So, um, uh, the uh, Board of Health has uh, someone who's in there part-time helping them out with uh, filing and uh, uh, you know, basically getting their, getting their checks sent up to the uh, treasurer's office and the like. Um, he's looking to pick up a few more hours. And um, <clears throat> before the holidays, Jim, we had, you and I had talked about maybe setting up a Zoom meeting with him just to uh, uh, talk over what he, what he could do, what, what he was looking for for time. Okay, yeah. yeah uh, that's fine. I mean, I would think a big one that we need to do is get caught up on our minutes. If we could get those basically typed up and accordingly, that would probably keep a person busy for a reasonable period of time. Jim, is well, it to get the uh, right format and everything else? There should be, well, yep. it'll, be quite, it'll be quite a bit of busy work. Um, the other thing is, uh, I don't know where the uh, scanning was left. Exactly. That's... I don't believe much scanning has been done for planning board stuff. Um, the scanner is still there and it's operational. It's, I believe it's connected to a computer. Um, I personally think minutes are the most important thing we have right now. Jim, how important are our minutes in as much as that we're obviously videotaped and if somebody ha does have any particular questions, it's certainly gonna be a little bit more thorough than, than the minutes uh, as. Well, sure. The, the, I don't do verbatim minutes anyway. That's, that right. was, that's correct. And no. so if anybody really has some specific nuances of what we're saying and interpreting things like that, the video is going to be yep. available. Uh, that, that, uh, that is true, Mr. Joe, but state law says we need to have minutes recorded and they've got to be available and stuff like that. And we are a bit behind in that particular aspect. We are not the only board that is. I, I, I'm, oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in saying we are. We, we are, unfortunately, we are, we are in the majority. Yep. <laughs> so, but um, I mean, we, we should at least start on doing that. And that way, at least we can be, I mean, we can do some of both some scanning yep. and get some caught up on minutes. Um, and depending on what the time they want to put in, it could keep somebody busy or a couple of people is it busy for a while. So Tom, are you using the planning board document scanner or do you have your own in building? Well, oh, that's the one that's being used. Yeah, we're using Excuse me, could I butt in before we take off? Do we have to revisit the next amp vote that we took two weeks ago because we voted on them using an ethanol cooling system and they're not using an ethanol cooling system. They're using their question about the noise. That's yeah. Before, before Mike left on his plane this, this, this afternoon, he had a question about the next amp thing. The uh, one that is behind Goulet for they want to put in some battery storage. The ones up on Breckenridge are going to use liquid cooling. 
We're going to have a hearing on that next month, later this month. But the one behind Nexamp, we gave a waiver to because and they said they're using, they aren't using liquid cooling, they're using dry cooling. And we approved it. And now we're getting all, you're, you're, there's a lot of information coming out on the, on the uh, internet and in the newspapers about these batteries blowing up, causing fires and otherwise. And I think Mike is suggesting that we rescind our approval. I'm not so sure we want to rescind our approval is make sure that the concerns are somehow being addressed as far as the issues we're reading about. Well, we, we voted on coolant system using ethanol and the guy that presented to us didn't have all the information. They're not using that type of cooling system, They're using air conditioning. And my question is how much noise does it make? Yeah, the other thing is, yeah, there's this, does it make noise? Uh, how far away is it from buildings and stuff? That's well, we, a pretty remote site. Yeah, and we can invite them back as uh, for clarification when you get back, Mike. So uh, yeah, what, what yeah. I'll do is I will, I will, I will give him an email, invite him him back at our next meeting. Yeah, good point. Okay, okay good. So. I mean, they, they are quite Here a ways. we go. See you later. Uh, okay. see you hey, later. Have a good flight. Hasta la vista. <laughs> Last one. Um, next stamp he's talking about is actually behind Target across the bike path, right? That's correct. That's what we're talking about right yeah. now, Mark. Not the one up on Breckenridge. That's going to be right. this. That That's our, our next meeting. And uh, he did agree to use a, a curb on his on his slab for his battery, right. but he was gonna yeah. use like a conventional direct expansion type of cooling, air cooling, I think, right? Right. Yeah, it seems like we don't need a curb if he's using HVAC. Yeah, I, mean, I don't, there's, yeah. There's some liquid in that, in that system too, but it's not a liquid cooled system. Yeah, I don't know what that R, 40, it's like the, you know, I think it's somewhat in the same family as what goes in your car. So it's still not, yeah, not it, it, it's wholesome. A, it's a, it's a free on family base. So it's not a liquid cool. Yeah. But if, if, if something happens, it, I believe um, it is just going to be going into the air. Um, if, like, you know, like you're anything out of your refrigerant, any other refrigerant, <coughs> but um, you know, the concerns, you know, the, the police, the fire chief seem to be satisfied, but I guess more, we want to make sure that on noise and stuff like that. I mean, I would think that it's not even making that much noise because he's not putting in a lot of batteries. Um, yeah, yeah. Not like well, the one up on Brick and Ridge is going to be five megawatts worth of it. If there's an exploding risk, that I don't think was presented to us. And right. would that would that warrant it being reopened if there was a hazard that was not made clear to us? Well, I mean, we, we, that's the way we invite them back at the next meeting, and we can ask these questions. Yeah, yeah. and the, the central problem is that we voted on something that is not occurring. We voted on an ethanol system putting curbs in, and it's not ethanol; it's air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. So Tom has uh, been involved with this with the fire chief, I believe. Right. It would be great to invite, uh, let Mike know about it because he dealt with the big one at UMass, which even the state inspector didn't know was going in. And after the fact, they had to do a lot for his, you know, protecting it for the firefighters getting the, you know, the dry pipe or whatever in extended out. So Mike is very familiar with that. If, if you, we do have them come back, we should maybe invite, you know, the chief. Good idea. Yeah. I'll let Mike know about it. In case they need some kind of fire suppression allowance. <clears throat> I'm not sure what would burn. Maybe some corn. Well, who knows? I mean, he is going to be in there. Are, he is going to have in the fields around, and you mm -hmm. could be right. Depending on the time of the year, even grass and dry leaves. Right. So, anyways, okay. We will. I'll invite next Sam back, and I'll let Mike know about it as well.
we've certainly heard the night the nightmares of the C California power systems causing wildfires, right? That yeah. was a couple of years ago. Yeah. Mike actually has the, the, it's on YouTube as a video in Arizona. Mm -hmm. It actually threw like for how many feet the firefighters back through a, a chain link fence. Mm -hmm. And that's what started the big concern with, you know, the state inspectors have, you know, warned us about it as well as the marshals and that. So. Okay. Okay. So Tom, you broke up. I was asking you, are you using the planning board uh, large format scanner? Yes. Yeah. Terry's okay. using it. Um, you know, I'm basically between eight, the, the biggest hours would be eight 30 to 12. Um, you know, when she does use it, but we can work around whenever anybody else is going to use it. Okay. She prepares everything down in the office and, and does, you know, all files when she goes up there in folders. So it's ready to just okay. scan at one time. Does that, is that produce a good scan results? Yeah, it is. Yeah. We can't hear Dee Dee. We can't hear Dee. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we just lost you again. You lost again. I don't know what time you're doing to you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the tech guy um, originally told us, showed us to do page by page. And finally, I found where there was a multiple thing that to do. So it'll scan because otherwise, then you got to keep renaming them. So it'll scan every single uh, page into one uh, document. Wow. Okay. file and the images come out really really good 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 glad thank you mm -hmm. if we get somebody because you and your whoever your accompl accomplices we're probably needing you to, sh to train them how to do it that's all yeah and and if it's peter i deal with peter all the time the okay so right. that's no problem okay. thank you yeah, so by way of further background, we're talking about Peter Laurie, who was a heavy resident. Um, he had uh, kids in school uh, around my older kids' time. And he lives on uh, Morning Star, I think, um, one of the streets off of Shattuck. Um, and he is a uh, retired business executive, just looking to find keep keep busy kind of like uh farmer joe on the uh zagrodnik farm <laughs> okay well that's fine if you can set something up bill let me know and we can uh zoom and make some decisions of what we want to do okay Okay, sounds like a good idea, good plan. Yeah, since, since he's there anyway, there's not going to be a lot of uh, on uh, onboarding exercises of how to show people where everything is. And right. uh, um, I think uh, if we are very specific about the tasks, we um, the one area that I've always been concerned about and taking bringing someone in is uh, supervision right uh, well yeah i good point yeah if we can just give him general direction and give him a stack of drawings and a pile of your minutes and videos to look at and say okay this is what we want how we want it done we should be able to get something accomplished between the two of those yep okay okay I don't have anything else. I don't have anything else. I don't even have, don't even have a bill and invoices today for anything. So no, no spending money. Anybody have anything else? Oh, I have a question for you, but it's not planning board related. So when everybody signs off. Okay. Very I'll good. Make a mo motion to adjourn. So I moved. So moved. Thank you. Any, all in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting is history. Motion is adjourned. Media. Meeting is adjourned. Meeting is history. Thank you. And thank you, John. Thank you, Tom. Well, Tom already signed off. And commendation to Mr. Sarsinski for uh, going above and beyond the call.
Absolutely. I agree.